Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Guys, the newest episode of Arrow. Arrow, Season 4, Episode 19, Canary Cry. Just finished airing on TV. Now I'm here to review slash just talk about the episode. If you haven't seen the newest episode of Arrow, Canary Cry, click away now. I'm getting into spoilers in this review. I will ruin this episode for you if you haven't seen it. If you have seen the episode, stick around. If you haven't, go away. You've been warned. Spoilers are coming. Okay, you've been warned. Let's get into this episode. So the first thing we have to talk about, of course, is Laurel in this episode. So obviously the big question is, is it confirmed? Is it the actual death of the show? Well, they've been pushing pretty hard, but then they did one little itty bitty thing that to me solidifies there is a big possibility that it's not, in fact, true, that there is a little bit trickery going on. Now, let's start off, before we get to that, let's start off a little bit about what happened in this episode involving Laurel. First things first, we actually got to see the funeral for Tommy, who died in season one of Arrow. There was a whole period of time that we didn't get to see anything between season one and season two. We saw Tommy die in season one finale of Arrow, we didn't get to see the funeral or anything like that. They talked about it a lot in season two, but we didn't get to see the fun funeral. We got to see it in this episode right at the top. I thought, this is Laurel's scene. Like, this is her uh, funeral scene. It's Tommy's. Laurel speaks at his funeral, and Oliver is there, but he doesn't go and speak when he was supposed to. And Laurel gives a speech about, um, you know, how she loved Tommy and all this kind of stuff. And then they had a couple more flashbacks kind of tying in, including Laurel and all that kind of stuff, including where Oliver wasn't going to go into uh, Laurel's apartment. And eventually he does. And it's really odd because Oliver goes over to her place in the flashback, Laurel's uh, place, one week after Tommy's buried. Laurel and Oliver have a kiss a week after Tommy's put in the grave. And then she says, I'm excited for the future, Oliver. Okay. A very bad choice, in my personal opinion. It's only been a week. Um, I don't know. But here's the big fishy thing everybody wants to talk about. I said this in a tweet today. And I've been saying this for quite some time. Ever since the death. I've been saying it for weeks before this episode. If they don't show the body in the casket... The rumor, the theory that she's still alive is going to skyrocket through the roof. And they didn't show her in the casket. They didn't show her. They showed her body being pulled out of a tray. Like pulled out of a body holding place or whatever. In the, wherever in the hospital. I don't know what it's called. They show her because they pull it out because they think maybe Laurel's still alive because the black canary's still running around. So they pull out Laurel's body. She's still there. But they don't show her in the casket. So, the theory that Laurel is still alive somewhere skyrockets through the roof. I mean, look, you can look to the interviews and all that kind of stuff um, where Mark Guggenheim and other people and even cast members who've been talking about this death. You can look to that and they're saying it's real, it's permanent. I'm sorry, folks. They're supposed to say that. If they up and right, like, right after this episode that like aired and they said, and then, like, oh, and then they're asked, okay, is she really dead? Is it real or whatever? They're all going to say it's permanent. But imagine if they would say, yeah, it's fake. Like, after her death, immediately. Ah, it's a fake death. She'll be back. It would ruin the show. It would completely ruin everything. So, there you have it, guys. They didn't show her body in the casket. Fishy, 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 fishy. It's fishy. Next thing I want to talk about is the... Black Canary, Evelyn, I think that's what the, the girl's name is. Ah, who cares what her name is? The point is, she is dressing like uh, Black Canary, and she's killing people, and she goes after Ruve. Is that her name? Whatever. Damien Dark's wife, who's now the mayor. Um, you know, it was pretty crazy, because I was like, I don't believe that this is actually Laurel in the Black Canary outfit, and it turns out it's not the case. She's actually a 16-year-old girl, girl, or some girl in high school, or whatever, She's dressing up as the Black Canary. She's trying to get revenge on her parents who were, um, who, like, basically got, you know, uh, stolen and kidnapped a hive. And they did some tie-in with the in the mid-season finale of Arrow where Arrow and the team, they didn't save all those people that were there under hive's control, essentially. So she blames Oliver and the team on that aspect. And then we get to the point where she's actually has the gun on Damian Dark's wife and Oliver says, you know, 
What do you what do you think the Black Canary would want you to do? And all this kind of stuff. She could have shot Damien Dark's wife, and she doesn't. And then the Black Canary leaves, and then Damien Dark's wife, who calls a freaking order to, like, arrest the freaking vigilantes, which will never happen. After Oliver saves her life, the Black Canary leaves. She tells people, arrest him, even though he just saved her life. Stupidest thing ever. Of course he escapes. So, I think that this aspect was kind of interesting um to see that she's taken on the mantle but she was just she was ruining she was ruining the black canary's image doing the stuff she was doing attacking people killing people it was insane stuff the next thing i do want to talk about in a part of this episode is diggle now i, I wanted to actually start off with this but laurel of course is really important so i had to start off with that first but diggle did something in this episode that I was actually reading on Twitter that people were actually quite upset with. Um, and they still are. So Diggle blames himself because he was telling Oliver, no, it's not true. My brother's not working with Damien Dark. And Andy Diggle was working with Damien Dark. I mean, the worst kept secret ever, you know, at this point, a, a part of the show. So Diggle goes and confronts the mayor. Damien Dark's wife. I mean, it's Damien Dark's wife, but she's still the mayor, and she uses her power, Oliver, that she has the power, she has the media, she's the mayor, it doesn't matter who she is. And a couple minutes later, she uses her powers to issue the vigilante takedown thing or whatever. But Diggle, the reason why people are upset is because Diggle freaking hits her with a gun, like just pistol whips her. It's like, damn. Like, he didn't actually punch her. He used a weapon. He used the gun. He, he was about to kill her. At a point. Now people are really upset with this because Diggle hit a woman and then Diggle was actually going to shoot her. Now, look. Hitting women is bad. This is Damien Dark's wife. <laughs> so, it's kind of con conflicting a little bit. Like, it's kind of like, mm, you know, on one hand she's a woman, but on the other hand she's Damien Dark's wife. It's, it's really conflicting. It really is. So, I don't know what the right answer is. Diggle obviously couldn't handle that emotional, you know, that emotional impact of Laurel's death. And I honestly see the connection of why he says that I, it feels like that Laurel's death is on me because I allowed Andy into our lives. I allowed Andy to be free. If Andy was still in that locked, you know, prison that he was in, in the arrow cave, these events wouldn't have transpired the way they did. Maybe in some alternate universe, Andy never never got out of his prison. Laurel still died from Damien Dark. So you just never know. But overall, I felt like this was a great episode. They did some weird choices with the fact that Laurel and Oliver kissed after a week after Tommy got put in the <laughs> got put in the ground. Um, and she said, I, I, I'm really happy for the future. It was just kind of really bizarre, really... To me, it's a bad choice they did. Uh, and people were obviously commenting on that aspect. But... I love the tie-ins with showing Tommy's funeral and showing Oliver leaving and going back to the island and giving her the photo. <laughs> like that that's how she got the photo of herself that he that he had on the island when he was there for five years. So there was a lot of great tie-ins and all that kind of stuff, and I think overall a good episode, but you know, they did some great choices and some not so good choices. Um so on that note, guys, good episode. Really did enjoy it overall. I think that it was a good way to tie in some things and overall progress the story. But once again, right before I click off this review, they didn't show the body in the casket. If they would have showed her for five seconds before they close the casket and go to bury her, there you go. She's dead. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching my review of this episode. Peace out.